Okay, boys, we're joining this game late, but I don't care what the score is. We're making a comeback. Hopefully, it just started. Zero to eight, and this kid is playing punk music. Okay, so let me just mute that real quick. Oh, what? I didn't kill him? Oh, dude, if you were to kill me, I probably would have cried there. Uh, I do think this comeback is definitely possible. So. Oh, we got. Oh no, he's got a sniper. I'm not gonna not gonna take that gunfight. We're starting off pretty well, even though I'm getting hit by grenades. Grenades are the most annoying thing ever. It's just really annoying how they like throw your vision off because first of all, you're already you've already been hit by a grenade. You're already suffering enough pain, and then all of a sudden you just view kick up into the sky and you can't shoot anything for like two or three seconds. That has to be one of the worst things in Call of Duty. I wish Flash Jacket prevented that, but it does not. And the same thing with stuns. Even if you have hardwired on to prevent stuns from like slowing you down, it still gives you some view kick and you stop shooting for a second, so if you get hit by a stun and you are in a gunfight with someone who is decent and can actually keep their aim on, you are kind of screwed. And that is something that I wish they would have never put into this game, but it is 8 and 12. As soon as I say we're making the comeback, I get destroyed by the rail driver. Again, that kid is the only kid who can kill me, apparently. And I stole that kid's kill. Um, I think he's on the rooftop, and he's running away from me. They're all over me. Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, we're in a building. We're safe. Probably not for long, though. So, we are three kills behind the second person. We are making this comeback. It is possible. And let me just tell you guys right now, if you guys didn't notice, I'm clearly doing a live commentary. That is because yesterday's live commentary did so well. It passed 100 likes. That is unheard of for me. I usually average between, like, maybe... Oh, please don't kill me maybe 40 to 60 likes and this one almost doubled in likes it's probably because i got the dna bomb but nonetheless it was a live commentary and a lot of you told me that hey machiavelli we really enjoy your live commentaries over just normal commentaries over videos because they're they're a little bit more advanced they're a little bit more fun to watch so i'm going to be doing a lot more of those i mean they're difficult i cannot lie they are very difficult for me to do but i will get used to them just like i got used to just commentating in general it's a really weird thing to do to sit and talk to yourself in your room for like a couple minutes not a couple minutes live com or commentaries used to take me like an hour to make because i would have to redo them over and over because i kept stuttering or getting nervous or just things like that so it gets easier it really does but right now it's probably gonna be a little bit awkward and we are only a couple kills behind this kid so i wonder if we could actually make the comeback if we did that'd be epic um, that would definitely, I would appreciate a like on the video for the epic comeback. And he's just sitting on a corner waiting for me, okay. So we're two off of UAV. UAVs help so much in free for all, it's absolutely crazy. And if I can get another one, I think that I can, you know, make things happen again. Oh jeez, he's behind me. Thank you for not killing me, I really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you for being horrible at the game. But I can't seem to find people as often as I was at the beginning. And as soon as I do find people, I mess it up. And the grenade gives me view kicks, so I choke my kill once again. That's what I was talking about. It's a little bit frustrating, especially when you're shooting at someone else, and then a grenade comes in that he didn't even throw, and it just messes up your shot, and the kid kills you out of complete and pure luck. That, right there, is probably enough to make you cry. Enough to make me cry, at least. But we just picked up a nice little double there. We are two points in the lead. Please... I forgot to reload. I always do that with the Rigor, or the, the ASM1 in general. Like, if you run out of ammo, the clip takes a lot longer to reload if you run out fully. And so I always cancel it too short, and then I go to shoot, and I realize I have zero bullets. And in this game, you die very fast, so if you miss a second, you're pretty much screwed. But I think that no, out of ammo once again. Okay, so we're two kills ahead of this kid. I think we can make this happen. As long as I don't choke. But I'm choking at this point. Master Gamer is getting the best of me. I really hope he doesn't kill that other kid. If he does, I'm kind of screwed because he's going to be like one point behind me. But this other kid came in clutch and killed Master Gamer for me. I think there's someone around here, but... We are one kill off. It looks like we're going to win this game. The comeback is real. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was a little bit distracted on the quick 30 and... I don't even know how many kills I got. 30 and 6 free-for-all for you guys. 
I hope you enjoyed another live commentary. I was really focused on the gameplay in this. For future ones, I'm probably going to talk about more real life things, but like I said, I'm just getting used to the commentary. So if you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like down below and tell me what you thought about it in the comment section. And I will see you guys all for tomorrow's upload.